Superman. Do you bleed? Yes, Batman v Superman, you do bleed. You bleed a lot. Hi there, Blake of BB YouTubers here, and this is my first review on the channel. Um, I I was wearing the Batman mask before, so I'm going to keep wearing it for the rest of the video. Alright, well, today I will be reviewing Batman v Superman and Captain America Civil War in one video, and we are going to start with Batman v Superman. Batman v Superman was a movie directed by Zack Snyder. It starred Ben Affleck as Batman, Henry Cavill as Superman, and um, other people. Uh, the premise of this movie was whenever um, Batman, he survived the Man of Steel attacks and now he believes Superman cannot be trusted and wants to go after him and destroy him before he can do anything bad. I just want to clarify before I start my review, I am not talking about the ultimate cut of the movie, which I hear is pretty good. I'm talking about the theatrical cut. Alright, now time for my actual review. This movie was... Well, it was a movie. There were a lot of negatives, but and there were a few positives, but uh, we're going to start with the positives first. The first positive is, of course, Ben Affleck as Batman. What a fantastic choice for the character. I think he could carry on his own movies, and he's a very well... He's a good director, so that makes me even more excited for a solo movie. Wonder Woman was in the movie, I guess. Um, Superman was definitely a pretty boring, bland character. I, I've never really liked Superman myself, but I felt like they could have done better, but they didn't. I don't know if it's Henry Cavill's fault or the writer's fault, but he's just too dark. Alright, now I'm going to try to get into a little spoiler territory here. So if you don't want to learn any territory, uh, if you haven't seen the movie and you don't want any spoilers, then I just skip over to the Captain America Civil War review. Okay, the fight now between Batman and Superman lasted like five minutes of like a two and a half hour movie. That is, that, that just sucks. The whole promotion for this film was like, who will win? And the title is called Batman v Superman. And yet, they only fight for about five minutes of this movie. And I'm going to admit, the fight was not even that good. Then Batman and Superman share this weird Martha moment. Because both of their mom's names is, are Martha. I see on Instagram a bunch of DC fans saying like, No, it's supposed to be a deep meaning. Shut up. That's stupid. It's stupid. Okay? That's all I'm gonna say about the Martha moment. Oh yeah, and they become best friends right afterwards. Okay, so then, after that, Superman says, go save Martha for me. And then Batman just gets in his Batwing and goes to where Martha's being held. Why couldn't Superman find it? If Batman could find it, why couldn't Superman? The Superman could've just went, went around the Earth. And search super fast. He has super speed. But then Batman just got his bat wing and was like, I know where she is. All right. Let's go. What? Okay, now let's talk about the Doomsday fight. <sighs> the Doomsday fight. Doomsday looked like he was a cross of Lizard from The Amazing Spider-Man, the Goombas from Super Mario Brothers, the movie, and Snoke from Star Wars Episode 7, and I would not call that a good combination. Okay, so the movie's like, alright, we're gonna kill off Superman in our second movie. I know that he's not dead, and that's still dumb, and it's also dumb that Doomsday is... Doomsday is so dumb in this movie. Okay, so then, after that, they're just like fighting Doomsday and stuff. I don't know, Superman gets nuked and stuff. They go into space for a little bit. Batman's just hiding in the background while Wonder Woman and Superman beat him up. Then, then, okay, okay, so uh, Lois Lane, because she's there for some reason, 
gets the uh, kryptonite spear that Batman was going to kill Superman with and hands it to Superman. Superman's like, uh, you're my world. I'm going to go defeat Doomsday now, okay? It's like, hand the spear off to, like, the Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman could stab him and not die. And then we'd have Trinity alive. Now, Justice League, we're going to have, like, a Luke Skywalker moment at the end of it where he's just going to go, Oh, hey, guys, I'm Superman. This movie was so disappointing. So disappointing. I don't even know if I want to wear this shirt or this mask. I feel disgraced. Alright, well that was my movie review for Batman v Superman. Now it's time to get on to a good movie. Captain America Civil War. Captain America Civil I can't wear this shirt. One second, please. One second later. There we go. That's better. Thank you for waiting. Okay. Now, let's get this review started. Captain America Civil War is about the Sokovia Accords. Um, after Avengers Age of Ultron, the government releases a document called the Sokovia Accords, which requires all superheroes to sign and register with the government. Uh, the Sokovia Accords won't allow them to go on to other countries, and they're kind of surrendering their free will by signing it. This Sokovia Accords deal splits the Avengers right in two, to, with Captain America on one side and Iron Man on the other. Now, I was super excited for this movie. I am a huge MCU fan. I have all of them. Most of them are DVD, but who cares? I remember going to go see this movie for the first time. Uh, I went with my dad. Well, actually, my whole family. And we sat near the very front in one of the first rows. And I thought it was going to suck, but it actually made the action much cooler. The Russo brothers did fantastic with this film. There were so many characters in this movie that it could have been a huge mess, a disaster. It, it could have been terrible. But the Russo brothers are able to hold all these characters and each have them all connect in a good way that it, it just makes so much sense like you you realize all these characters are here not one of them really feels sidelined the only one that does is vision at some points now this movie was everything i wanted to be it had great action great emotional things emotional things it had uh more action and it had more emotional things and that's good. The three best characters in this movie are the newcomers. Black Panther, Spider-Man, and Ant-Man. I know you're thinking Ant-Man was in Ant-Man, but he's still like the newest returning Avenger. Kind of like a newbie. Now I want to go on to the topics of Black Panther and Spider-Man, and I'm going to start with Black Panther. Chadwick Boseman is the perfect Black Panther. Right now, I literally cannot think of any other person to play him and I've only barely seen him he was fantastic in this film he was so cool he his voice sounded great he was his suit was amazing it's just everything about the Black Panther character in this movie was phenomenal and now I just cannot wait for Black Panther in 2018 all right now I want to talk about Peter Parker aka Spider-Man oh my God, Tom Holland. He is 20 years old, 19 when he filmed this, and he was phenomenal as Peter Parker. This is the Peter Parker we've been wanting to see on screen. We had Tobey Maguire, who wasn't really funny. He was more of a serious Spider-Man, so I didn't really ever think of him as Spider-Man, even though I love the movies, except for the third one. Third one. And then we have Andrew Garfield hipsterish series and I don't ever really think of him as a nerd and I never really thought he was funny. Then we have Tom Holland. He's funny. He's young. It's his movie's gonna be like set in high school, which is perfect. And um he he has really good one liners. He, he 
he's fantastic. All right, well, now that I've given my reviews for Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, and Captain America Civil War, it's time to give their ratings. I rate mine on stars, so now it's time for the Batman v Superman star. Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, gets a 5.5 out of 10 stars. Hashtag Batman. Captain America Civil War gets a 9.5 out of 10 stars. And now I'm wearing this shirt. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please go down to the comment section below. Give your reviews of Batman v Superman and Captain America Civil War. And uh, see you next time. Please subscribe.